Just when you thought that members of the Trump family couldn't get any more shameless, Donald Trump Jr. has emerged to capitalize off of last week's tragic shooting on the set of the movie Rust, where a prop gun uh, misfired and killed uh, one of the uh, uh, people working on that film. Alec Baldwin was the one uh, who had the gun. It misfired, killed one of the women that was working on the film. And uh, in literally no time flat, Donald Trump Jr., the most disgusting of all of the Trump children, began selling t-shirts on his website for $27.99 a pop that say, guns don't kill people, Alec Baldwin kills people. Now let's get something clear. After this news broke last week, late last week, and it was a tragedy, but more and more stories are starting to come out about the problems that they had been having on that set, that the gun had already misfired once and that there were multiple reports by the people who had been working on the film, that it was unsafe, that the overall conditions on the film were unsafe. Hell, the union people walked off the set and were replaced with inexperienced people. And that is possibly, possibly, because we don't know the full answers, what led to this tragedy taking place here. This is not Alec Baldwin's fault by any stretch of the imagination. Alec Baldwin is not a murderer. And I'm not even an Alec Baldwin fan. But what's happening is that these disgusting little insects in the Trump family led by Don Jr. hate Alec Baldwin so much because obviously he was the guy that did the Trump impression on Saturday Night Live. So they've got it out for him. And their idiot followers, I have no doubt, are going to snatch up these t-shirts because haha, it's funny, Alec Baldwin killed somebody. I don't care if you love or if you hate Alec Baldwin. A woman is dead. A mother is dead. A wife is dead. Someone's child is dead because of what happened on that film set. That is a tragedy, not an opportunity to hawk some t-shirts attacking a guy that you don't like because he's a friggin' actor. And he did an impression of your dad on a parody show that has been known for making fun of sitting presidents. They're making fun of Joe Biden every week now. Why? Because he's the guy in power and that's what they do. They've done it since they were on the air during the Gerald Ford administration. And they're going to continue doing it long after we're gone, assuming they're on the air. But Trump Jr. is an absolutely disgusting and reprehensible human being for trying to not only mock this tragedy, but to profit off of it. And I don't even care if he donates the proceeds or if he put him, puts them in his own bank account. It doesn't matter at this point. Again, a woman is senselessly dead. We ought to be talking about gun control right now. We ought to be talking about working conditions here in the United States. We ought to be having those conversations instead of debating whether or not Alec Baldwin's liable for killing somebody. That's not even part of the conversation. People die. People get injured on film sets constantly. We need to be looking at this. We need to be investigating this and we need to make work safer for these individuals. Hell, we're the ones who go to the movie theaters and eat up these films anyway, right? We should at least hope that we could make this safe so people stop getting paralyzed, people stop losing limbs, and sometimes even worse like what we saw last week. But Eric Trump, or excuse me, Donald Trump Jr. doesn't care about any of that. Jr. just wants to make a quick buck by making fun of a tragedy.